two. There you go. So hey guys, this is Raymond, uh, living in Korea, uh, Chungju, Korea, talking about the CPI program and my experience with that and you know, random stuff uh, that I notice about living in Korea. Okay, so today is a Friday and in the CPI program that I'm on, the martial arts program, Fridays are very free. Um, we only have training at 4 in the afternoon, but the rest of the day, we're doing nothing, really. Uh, so this day, I took the chance to do a, you know, a batch of laundry, uh, maybe organize some of my photos because I've taken a lot of photos and I haven't really organized them, uh, and also a lot of video. Um, so that's it. It's just a really quiet day just to get things caught up. I also cooked a bit uh, of food so that I can have some lunch with me like when I go out like sometimes I'm mean, eating at restaurants here in Korea is part of the culture um, but it can get really pricey sometimes and right now my Korean is not good enough to know how to order at restaurants correctly like to be honest if a Korean menu has no photos of the food. I do not know what I can order in the store. You know, I can always play, you know, food roulette, food roulette, and you know, just point at something and order it. Um, but that's for another day. You know, it, it, when you're training as hard as we've been training, you need um, good proper food. You know, with lots of protein. Right there. And I'll be talking about the training uh, some other time. But today, right now, on this video, what I want to talk about is what we did yesterday. Yesterday, um, the nice people at the Taekgyun Center, Taekgyun, my pronunciation is getting better, Taekgyun, uh, mentioned that we would not train and we're going out on an excursion, which is cool. I love excursions. It was a big mystery for us where we're going, you know, it could, it could be any kind of place that they were taking us. We didn't really know. Um, in the last moment, uh, Saboni uh, Pak mentioned that he was taking us to the cloud factory. Took me a moment to connect that word because in my mind I was thinking cloud factory. They make clouds. But then I remember the advertising that I've been seeing on the road and cloud is a beer. Which turns out to be a local beer here in Chungju. Just to show you guys what it's about. Um, they give you a goodie bag when you go to the factory. Comes in this really nice paper case. Mine's kind of beat up already, but that's because I left it with Sante uh, in the car. And he's not really, I mean, I don't know. But anyway, so it comes in this really nice bag. And inside the goodie bag, what they give you is this. It comes in a really cute box two bottles of their beer, which is really nice of them, really. Um, it comes in this really nice box. I'm really thinking about taking this home, like I'm not gonna drink it here in the Philippi uh, sorry, here in Korea. I'm gonna take it back home in the Philippines because if I want to drink Cloud, I can buy a bottle of, the, of Cloud down the street. You know, I think they sell it in the convenience stores and whatever, but the box, I cannot get the box anywhere. So I might just take it home, just, you know, as a souvenir. Um, in the box, as I mentioned, there's two bottles of beer, okay? And it also comes, yeah, with a little pamphlet about the brand. Okay, so they talk about, okay, it's all in Korean, so I'm just guessing what they're talking about. Here they're talking about what makes it different compared to other beers. Okay, they talk about the original gravity, whatever that means. You know, multi-hopping system. Some of the words are in English, so I, I can make a guess. Um, the origin of the name, although for the life of me, I don't know. Right? They also talk about um, the font that they use, why they chose this font. Okay, that's interesting. All right, and that's it. So it comes with this bit of information. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna upload not probably I will upload 
some videos uh, of us in the cloud factory and it's gonna show you a little bit of how they tour you through the factory and right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a bit of um, yeah, commentary about what I saw yesterday in the factory uh, you know when you were growing up I don't know about you guys but when I was growing up uh, you always go to the local factory of something you know? One year it's biscuit factory, the other year it's um, you know soft drinks or cola factories, that kind of thing. So this is new for me. So you kind of have an idea of what to expect. You know, you go to a beer factory. Oh, you see the production line and everything. But one of the things I found out when I was there was the brand Cloud is has been on the market for only about two months. Right, so right now I'm seeing a lot of advertising on the road. You see at the shops they have banners of so cloud beer being sold here and all that. Um, but apparently all of that looks new because it is new. It's the the posters have been up for only about a month or two. Um, so it's a fairly new brand, and they're really trying to make an effort to, you know, get the brand out there, get some brand awareness going. Um, so there, and it's very interesting when you go to the to the factory. Like the whole factory was really designed around the tour. But I don't know if it was designed around the tour, but definitely when they built that thing, they had in mind that people will tour this factory. That people will walk around and look at how we do things, right? Um, so far, they've been focusing on only the Korean market, and I kind of understand that. It's a young brand you have to work with your main market so 99 percent of the tour was in korean which means i caught one or two words out of every 100 okay so there we are um but yeah and they're, they're creating this really nice brand and they actually have uh, jun ji hyun i think she changed her name i heard i don't know uh, from my sassy girl so everyone here from the Philippines and English-speaking people, I think it was released as My Sassy Girl in English-speaking countries. And she, they got her as the main endorser. Although it's so weird, um, she's in all of the posters, she's, all in, she's in all of the print ads, but I never see her uh, in the promotional materials they've made. Like, uh, they, when you enter the presentation area, they show you a video about cloud beer, right? And, you know, about the history behind it, everything. And they also talk about, and you know how it is in advertising, they kind of show you the kind of lifestyle that this particular brand is a part of. Like, for example, uh, in the Philippines, if you look at the advertising for Red Horse Beer, it's all about going out, getting wasted, you know, it, even their um, copy, right? Lakas ng tama, it means, you know, you get drunk, that's the idea. You know, you go to a bar, you drink, you get drunk. That's the branding that Red Horse Beer is going for. And, you know, it suits them. It's a brand that's really, really, you know, it's a really strong beer and that's the thing. Um... When they advertise Cloud, or when they do the promotional videos for Cloud, um, I notice that the lifestyle that they're going for is more for the casual drinkers, people who don't want to get drunk, they just want to have a couple of beers with their friends or in a lazy Sunday afternoon. So they're going for more high quality beer instead of high quantity beer. That seems to be the lifestyle that they're going for. They're going for a really classy look or whatever. Um, which, which makes sense, which makes sense. Uh, but in all of the promotional videos are that way. You know, you have this nice, uh, this group of clean cut looking Koreans, you know, kind of yuppies. Some of them have a baby, you know, that, that kind of age, like 30, 35 onwards. Uh, you see nothing about Jun Ji Hyun, but she's in all of the posters, like everywhere. And she's... I'm gonna take a photo and probably post it or something, but it's just she's wearing this gold dress, and you know they're they're going for the classy look, but it's just weird. It's like a disjoint in the promotionals in the factory and outside. The review of the beer itself, um, right? 
the beer is actually surprisingly good. Um, surprising because I'm Filipino, so San Miguel beer is always going to be my beer. Uh, especially the Cerveza Negra. I love that. Um, but this is a different kind of beer. It, For you beer drinkers out there, it does remind me a little bit of Whole Garden. Like that German beer. I don't know which Whole Garden because I know Whole Garden has like a couple of brands. But it reminds me of a Whole Garden beer that I drank before. But it's a little bit richer than Whole Garden. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. It's a bit richer and it goes down really smooth. It's easy to drink. Okay, that's why they're going for that, you know, lazy afternoon. It's not, it's, it's not for hardcore drinkers, you know, who just want to get drunk. Um, like, when I was at the factory, <laughs> I, you know, I promised myself that this week I am not drinking. But, you know, you're in a beer factory, so, right, go ahead, have fun. Uh, they were giving you free beer, and I had four beers, and it was easy to drink. I could have done, like, a whole mug in one go, and it wouldn't have been a problem. It just goes down easy. So it's a nice beer. And then, in, I think it has a relatively high alcohol content. Okay, let me check. Let me check the bottle, because... That's one of the things that we all noticed when we were drinking. It has a 5% alcohol content. So it's about par for the course. Um, it's about the same as San Miguel. San Miguel Pale. And maybe a little lower than uh, San Miguel Light. But yeah, it does hit you quite fast. So it's nice. Oh, and here's the bottle. Like you can see, they're going for a really German look for this thing. So there we are. So there. So that is my review of yesterday's trip to the Cloud Factory. Okay. Now, if any of you guys have tried Cloud before, although I'll be really surprised if you had, because uh, I'm not even sure if they sell this stuff in Seoul. Seoul, right? So, but if any of you guys have tried Cloud beer, if you have any comments about Cloud beer, their advertising, what they're doing. Just put it in the comments below, guys. And uh, that's it. So this is Raymond in Korea uh, signing out.